Okay, enough of the history lesson. Let's talk about smart controls in Logic 10. So in Logic 10, I'm going to open up my library and I'm going to choose, oh, let's say a uh, piano. And I'll choose Grand Piano and Pad. So this is going to load up a track stack that has a piano and a pad in it. And if I want to see the smart controls for that particular track stack, I'm going to go to View, Smart Controls. So we have this very slick looking set of controls at the bottom that allow me to adjust the mix between the piano and the pad, adjust my dynamics, adjust delay, ambience, and reverb. So let's try it out. Looks like I played a little before the beat. Now I should be able to control these parameters in real time. So I'm adjusting the volume between the piano and the pad. Now I'm adjusting the compression on the overall instrument. So I'm controlling a bunch of things at once, like this dynamics control, I've got a compression knob, but that compression knob could be doing several things at once. Now that was working on a track stack. A track stack is a collection of instruments that have been grouped together so that they perform together. These smart controls can be applied to any part of that track stack. We'll talk about that later. Now I'm going to get rid of this preset and I'll choose a different preset that's a little more simple. If I select just Steinway Grand, we'll notice that the track stack is gone. I have an EXS24 and it doesn't have an additional layer on it. So I have control over tone, has low and high, dynamics, delay, ambience, and reverb. If I want a closer look at it, I can open up my channel EQ because I'm sure that that's where the timbre is being changed. So these are the default smart controls that have been assigned to this instrument. Let's check out some other ways that smart controls are assigned to different kinds of instruments.